people of the Bible, what the Bible speaks of. And what you see here is just an example of what the Bible said, do, get that stick. You know? Like, come on. That stick. I get the word while you can't. Let people know who they are. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Let you other nations know who you are. You so-called white people that you're the goddamn devil. Let you other nations know y'all gonna be destroyed and your nation America is gonna be destroyed. God bless you, man. God bless you. Hey, I God bless that one too, boy. He said America's going to be destroyed. He said God bless it. <laughs> hey, cause you can tell he don't like living in this shit. Fuck this country. It's that time to wake up, y'all. So when that time to wake up, and you ain't woke up by then, you gonna be you shit out of luck. No, and the Lord speaks of tormenting the minds of the people that are that are considered to be wicked. And tormented, when you look at the word torment, it means to torture. You know? So a lot of you two-thirds gonna get mentally tortured and physically tortured. Personally, I don't give a damn if you do wake up. As long as you heard the word. That's all that's required to you how do the heavenly father. Right. Give them the name. What's that? What are they here? What are they forbear? There you go. It's uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1. <laughs> gather yourself together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. For the decree being forth before the day passes the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh or the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, are ye meek of the earth, which I brought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. The Bible says, seek what? Seek what? Seek right? Seek righteousness. And he turned from the world away. The world away from eating all kinds of foul foods, serving all kinds of wicked gods. Celebrating you know? Christmas. Being a, being a, <laughs> just straight up doing all kinds of forms of wickedness. That means turn from your ways. Repent. They hear brothers out here speaking. And they, they, they hear brothers out here speaking right now. It's funny to them. This shit. It's funny to them, this shit. You know what I mean? It's funny to them. Like this is like this is like this have no. Like this is nothing. This is just gonna lead to but one day we're gonna just wake up, we ain't coming out no more. We done, y'all. We done. This ain't no this ain't no fast, y'all. Done really, we just getting started actually. Damn right. Because you got brothers wake I see bro, uh, I was watching the Elder a lot uh Ride Lobs channel. He said we get there's a GMS camp in Romania. Romania. I, I see brothers been watching our videos in Romania. No, Romania is right by uh Going towards the Black Sea, it's like. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, well, well, yeah, actually, yeah. It, I think it was part of the USSR. I'm always watching Romanian yeah, videos. Romanian. So it's, it's hell going on there. Yeah, that's Shit. where. Well, that's where uh, uh, Dracula's from, Romania. So Romania is something. But Ukraine talking about man, they tired now. They talking about attacking Russia, man. They talking about doing their own thing. Ukraine, because Russia start. They about to turn that gas off, man. You know, but yeah, it's a bro, camping. Make God. Ukraine wouldn't have no. They wouldn't chose the wrong side. Bro, man. <laughs> 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 somebody about to get hit. Damn, school bus driving look, look, crazy. Look. He was going the other way. Not even watching. He said, Jeremiah 5 and 12. It says, They have been live. They have been live. I always said it, it is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. <laughs> Didn't did he say that proper will come for us to cease? Oh, they put the evil days off. Because the niggas that, that's out there teaching the word look like goddamn bums that's out there cursing reading the Bible. Man, ain't nothing they gonna say gonna come to truth. Ain't nothing, ain't not a damn thing they say is gonna come to light. That's what they say in their mind. That's what they believe, man. You know? But you know what? The funny thing is, the Lord will black y'all out. He got y'all saying that. You know? Because a lot of y'all are just condemned to death any damn way. So who cares? 
What they say is uh, the con they giving them to their reprobate mind. That's the condemnation. That is condemned. Prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Oh, check this out. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, IUIC, one of their members, a female, right? Uh, she's in the she's in the air force. I'm having a conversation with the bitch. I'm telling her, don't you know World War Three is actually in its early stages right now? She's like, nah, we got that in check. We don't have that in check. This bitch is part of IUIC. I'm talking about you know. I asked you know about the prophecies. Prophecies. I mean, come on, we got time to do a lot of things. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember, she's a she's a police officer in the Air Force. You know what I mean? Oh, wicked ass bitch. How you gonna make the truth in the military? I got if you woke up to the truth while you was in the military, that's one thing. But being a, to know you're Israelite, then go join the military. Yeah, yeah. She's been in the military for a while though. Yeah. Like three, you know. But once you know you once you wake up to the truth, you're supposed to quit, man. That's what I told yeah, Finish your sentence and there's a sentence. That's not a, uh, what they call it? Yeah, she, that's a fucking hey, sentence. Check it out. She's staying in until she retires. What's that, 20 years? I think, I think it's 20 Actually, years. man, you know what? Actually, though, 20 years ain't shit, man, you know? Actually. I remember I always had that uncle. He's like, you need to do that 20, get that money. That channel. Man, I, I should have listened to him. I would have been out like years ago. Yeah. I would have been, been out. But as far as the prophecies go, she's unaware of the prophecies. You know, she, she, this is a girl that was just in IUIC. Has no knowledge of the name. Don't use the name. Use Jesus and use Christ. Remember again, this is part of IUIC. <laughs> you know what I'm All they going to talk about is keep the law. Yeah. But what, what keeping laws is in the military? You know, in the military, they force you to shave your beard, right? Take your Oh, but look, they force so you to girl. shave your beard. But now you, a uh, 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 Marine, I think, just got an acceptance because he said he worships Thor. Did you see that? So he got a religious acceptance. It seeks they starting to let them grow their beards out. But if you uh, believe in the Bible, nah. Just... Yeah. But anyway, check it out. How I bitch, I'm going to check out this car, right? I always thought, it's just in the news today, the Marine. But yeah, if you, if you call yourself, man of God or a woman of God, you're not supposed to be joining the military. That's what we're saying. And you know, that, that you got there doing the work for the, doing the dirty work for the devil. They're going up to these uh, countries, killing innocent people, blowing up schools, hospitals. Yeah. And that still ain't justified. It still ain't justified just because the devil said we're something. Right. That's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? That's right. They even tell you that in the military. They what say, is somebody out here that said there was a murderer that killed somebody over here? He was proud of it. Yeah, he's right proud of it. Right, right. And I know guys who kill people in combat, and they messed up over it. I should have some girl there, because she was over there in Afghanistan. Come on, touch your girl twice. Yeah. I know a dude that was in uh, Iraq, and I kept telling him it's not your fault that you had to kill those people. Well, you know, pretty because he was just young, dumb, whatever. But he's really messed up over that, having to kill them people. To see the other guy come out here and be proud of it, he's proud of it, you know what I mean? But this other dude I seen that was in the same shit, he wasn't, he didn't sit right with him. Yeah, that'd be him. That's heavy on the conscience, man. And you, that's what I was talking about before being tormented, man. You do something wrong, most high torment you eventually. If you don't torment you right away, eventually you're going to start getting your mind, man. Start eating your head. Yep. That's a conscience. Only everybody's got conscience. Hey, that's what he did to your boy Comfy. <laughs> Oh man. He, they had him thinking he was the comfort. The most high gave his ass a delusion, boy. And look at him now, he locked up in prison. Right. Well check it out. Old girl was some of the 68 Chevy, right? I went to check it out. You know, because it ain't part of that. You don't have all that electrical electronic bullshit. Really, I'm only interested in the engine. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that's how I met him, man. And uh, she told me I had to wait till sundown because it was <laughs> right. uh, it, was it was a Saturday. Saturday. And you know, that I was clowning on her, man. I was clowning with her. It was actually a fun conversation. Though. You didn't know she was an Israelite before you met her? I didn't say nothing. Yeah, I knew she was, but she didn't know I was. So she going on, you know, that's, she was actually trying to teach me at first. First she said, Are you a man? I'm not allowed to teach you. Then she went on trying to teach me. <laughs> she married? No. She fine? Uh, man. You got to see her in person, though. I'll be like, Ooh, well, I guess you gotta give Nate. <laughs> I, I guess you gotta give Nate points for. Uh, See, I'm saying I can't. You gotta give Nate points for being a pimp. But what was I saying? Uh, uh, the 
assassins. Right, right, right. She's trying to justify the scriptures, which pick up, butchered the shit out. I was, I was going in my mind for a minute. But then excited? I had to say, like, girl, you're going on, girl. You, you do know I'm a Hebrew. Did, you, did your mom even tell you I was a Hebrew? Like, oh, that's you. <laughs> that's you. Well, hold up. Um, hey, there's um, a lot of people know the Israelites now, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, what, uh, what, what did I shut her down with? Uh, uh, the law. The law. The law. The law. I, cl I had to clown on that one, man. I'm talking about the law. You know, I asked her how you can say it. She's like, do the law. You gotta practice the law. You gotta, you gotta rehearse all the laws. And then I was just having fun, you know, having fun. Well, the fabric you're wearing, all the clothes you're wearing, that's different fabrics, right? She's like, what you talking about? It's like, you can't, you didn't know nothing, man. You didn't know nothing. Man. But she, again, she went to the scriptures trying to justify, you know, you have to follow all the laws. Hey, that kinky drink ain't no joke. Side, then I dropped it again, and it dropped right on my toe. That shit was funny, actually. You're trying to tell me she can answer for other members of IUIC and say they sincere. Sure. You can't tell me that they don't man on the sincere. I mean, retarded people are sincere. Sincerity ain't got shit to do with the truth. Oh, I see you, bro. Man, you were never sincere yet. Oh, I should do it. Yeah, we can put those in. Let's just stack them up. Step on them or something. That's everybody on that shit. Everyone in the and shit, man. That's what I That's why I came. Y'all look, look, I saw it. I was like, I thought that was you. What's up, man? It was on. You done forgot my scripture. Oh, I got I like, it. I see you. I see you. I got a scripture dealing with that Sabbath, though, if you want it. Because uh, what she was saying, the Sabbath was on Saturday, what? Friday, Sunday. I mean, Friday, Friday Sunday, Sunday, Sunday to Saturday, Sunday. Right. And that's what, wait, before I, that's why I, I had to wait tonight night uh, to look at the car and everything, man. It's like, got me to the sun, Bullshit, bitch. I'm being bullshit, bullshit artist, too, man. Just listen to her talk. But then again, she's a woman, right? She's a woman. She's a woman. I even told her, all you're doing is just repeating shit that someone told you. That's all you're doing is just repeating stuff. And I see her running the crib. She running the crib. Well, let me get my Bible. Let me get my Bible. Running the crib. I see her on the phone calling people up. And she calls, oh, yeah. She calls up um, um, John Legend. John Legend's cousin. John Legend's from somewhere around Columbus. You know who John Legend is? The yeah, fact that that's artist. The yeah. fact that that's artist. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, let me call him. Let me call him. Huh? He, his cousin is in IUIC. That's how she got in IUIC. Right, right. All right, while you get that, I'm about to uh, bring the scripture out. This right here proves that the Sabbath comes in on the new moon. Oh, my, that's the new, new moon right there. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a full moon. <laughs> There's a full moon out tonight. Amos 8 and 5 say, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn? See, where she said she's waiting for the sun to go down so she can sell, right? That's right. That's right. So these was wicked Israelites. You know, they, 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 they didn't care about the Sabbath. They just praying that the Sabbath was over with so they can make money. But Amos 8 and 5 say, when will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn and the Sabbath that we may uh, set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great and falsifying the bounce bounces by the sea? And look, I'm going to read a couple more scriptures. Uh, 
I got another one, but every time, almost every time you see the word new moon in the Bible, the Sabbath is always mentioned right with it. You know what I mean? And when you go into the Hebrew, you'll find out the same word for month is the same word for moon. Or the new moon is the month. So so the month it go, goes on the lunar cycle. How you doing? With a cop, she ride high now. She's high shit. She's hot shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, was she a cop too? Oh, I thought she was a cop. I had no idea. Yeah, she was a cop. She looked high as fuck out of her mind. See the cop down there. Uh, Workington, I think it was Workington. He, and, uh, uh, like, I think around 12 midnight, he ran into somebody, smashed into somebody's house. Nobody around. This, that one cop had to be revived with a Narcon shot. Oh, I saw the video. <laughs> yeah, they got the video. Yep, but yep. they didn't show what happened before. <laughs> like they didn't show. I mean, they got the they got the body cameras, right? That's right. Where's his body camera? Because <laughs> they didn't show what what happened leading up to it. Because he was fucking, he was sniffing that shit, shooting that shit, man. It's like get the fuck out. Half them cops are hooked on heroin. I guarantee it. I can't fucking tell. That's right. That's right. They're, uh, I know all, all of them, damn near 90%, are all on fucking steroids. Yep. All on steroids. When I was in the Marines, I was one of the only guys that didn't do steroids because I didn't want my nuts to shrink. Because <laughs> that's what that old saying goes. Right, 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 you do right. steroids, your shit gonna shrink. I'm like, nah, -uh, not me. Right. My, my, my wife's brother's about to become a cop. That's all he's doing is steroids. Yeah, they're all, they're all on steroids. But they do it so they can uh, get high scores on their physical fitness test. That's why they do it. Because they get promoted. That's how you get promoted. You're not going to get promoted and get a raise if you're a fat piece of shit. It's a lot of fat pieces of shit. So that, yeah, but that shit is illegal, though. Steroids is fucking illegal. That's yeah. And all the military's on it. I know that for a fact. That's called hypocrisy. That's a box. You arrest somebody on the shit, yeah. you know, but you're going to do the same shit. Well, I mean, because you're fucking with their business, too. You think about that. If you out here selling drugs, they didn't approve of you being out there. So you're a problem. So, and, and they got all kind of snitches in the neighborhood. We everybody know about that. They catch your ass out there selling some shit. And they go... We snitches. Oh, yeah. We're dropping a dime to the most high right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're dropping a dime right now. <laughs> you know, the hood, they tell don't snitch, don't snitch, don't snitch. You know, the hood comes. You got, yeah, you got to watch a guy who's always getting arrested but never going to jail. Never go to jail. Never go to jail. He caught with a lot of shit, but you know, for a little bit of time. That's for two thirds to get caught out there. That's good. That's good. You'd be surprised how many stitches there are out here. Follow me. Oh, yeah, I had another script for two. Uh, I got off sidetrack with that talking shit about cops. I want to get another script for going to that new movie. You see the motherfuckers, man. You do something in your mind and your body. Just, you know, you got to refrain yourself sometimes. It's a natural hatred. I just, natural try, hatred. I just try to imagine that it, cops don't exist. I mean, I know they exist and they're killing us, but you can't just know what I can do to them. They kill a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, they are. Here in Columbus. Here in fucking Columbus. You know, the last Chicago last, I think, week, 70 something people got shot. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if they all didn't die though, but 70 some people got shot. Man. I can't tell you, they, a lot of gang killings is really cops killing people. Oh, that's, or the government. CIA, yeah. CIA, yeah. that's what Dick Gregory was saying. He was going into the day. Dick Gregory was doing He was part of a fraternity. He was part, I wanted fraternity. He was part of the same fraternity as Stuart Scott. I can look it up. I, it's a, Stuart it's, Scott? No, it's the original black fraternity, damn it. Stuart Scott, wow. I'm, I've been studying this shit. I never forgot it. I've been meaning to watch Dick Gregory videos. I'm trying to go. I have to go. I gotta go back to my mom's house get my old album. Oh, his. This might be perfect. His newest ones were right before he was dying. He was going to Hardy. He was cussing at the interviewers and everything. Like, Motherfucker, I just told your ass. You just, just, just fucking listen. <laughs> Dick Gregory, that's that dude. But he, he, fuck Dick Gregory, man. Hey, mom. His brother! Oh shit! Vaughn. V-A-U-G-N. That's his name. 
Right, all right, you see that. Time I'll sell him some beats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sings too. Right, right. Power trash. I know that Jay, the producer that was with IUIC, was trash. 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 Did you watch that? Trash. Trash. He's from Springfield. He's from Springfield Fucking though. garbage. From Springfield? Springfield. That's like between here and Dayton. It's like between here and Dayton. That's the hood, ain't it? Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't only been to Springfield a couple times. It's a nice. You guys, I got another scripture done with that new move. We keep getting sidetracked. Uh, one second. I just had it. It's in a, there's a good one in Hosea. I'll go ahead. Last time I was kicking in Xenia, Ohio was in the 90s, man. Xenia? All right. Down there then, we were number light skinned bitches and white people. You know what I mean? Light skinned motherfucker. But now, man, it's nigga deep. I, that's one of the least places you would have thought of IUIC would be camped at, man. Yeah, oh, that's right. Xenia. I heard about that. Xenia? Yeah, let me show you where it is. Yeah, right. like out here, they're out in fucking. Uh, they're not even in Columbus. They're out in fucking Heath. Yeah, out in the suburb of New York. Bro, I ain't never been to Heath but once in my life. I bet there is too. Yeah, I've been going down there since the 80s. I've been telling you, how, how did Jake even get out in these places? Definitely. Most of y'all ain't. Because <laughs> you know most Jake don't even drive or nothing. A lot of times these niggas end up in them small towns because they take the drugs there. Oh, yeah. They're trying to make money. Yeah. Jake is a, an adventurous person, I tell you what. Adventurous. I good. How many times you done talk to a Jack though? He be, he be like, oh, I was living in California for three years, and I moved to Minnesota, then I went down to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the States, though, that's how they do it in the States. Jake be all over the place. But think about it. When you were trying in the military, you yep. could easily stay wherever. Yep. Easily. And then, hey, just like, yeah, everywhere I, wherever you go is your home, though. Everywhere you go is the same. That's where you live. Man. Hey, actually, where you live. That's why, that's the old thing. If a cop pull you over and ask you where you live, I'm gonna be that asshole. I'm be like, oh, I live in my body. <laughs> but where do you live? You don't live inside. You don't live inside of a house. What you say, boy? That's not where you live, though. Yeah, this is your house. Yeah, where well, you live, your head's home. That's your home. Now, you're not. Your spirit ain't confined to a fucking smart building. ass homeboy. Like the scripture says, uh, the book of Psalms said many times that uh, King David says, "I'm a sojourner like my fathers." Oh, you look at. Look at Joseph, look at, uh, you know. Yeah, they sojourned, yeah. Yeah, they always in somebody else's land because, you know, they're all fucked up and slavery. And, and that's why it also said that don't, don't, I'm really roughly paraphrasing. <laughs> don't be hating on the strangers because they was a, a sojourner just like you. Talking about the foreigner Israelite. <laughs> yeah, pilgrims. Yeah, a pilgrim. Somebody who goes on a long journey. We, yeah, we everybody in this country is a long ways away from home, boy. Everybody, every last single person in this country is a long ways away from home. Man. Ain't nobody native to this land over here. Nobody. Nope, not even them. Even though that was given to them as a, a possession. So really, this is our technically the whole earth belongs to us. They told Abraham that wherever your foot is so your foot. They told uh, Joshua that yeah. so your foot to steps in the show land. Yep. And now of course the land goes to the show. There's um there's Zenia Ohio, there's Columbus. The honor of God. Springfield. What is the honor of God? The honor of God. The armor of God? Yeah. Which is what? The righteous sword, the shield. You're right. The truth. The word. The word is a double-edged sword. You take seven, one, and seven. But it's like in the middle of, like that's tornado. The tornadoes hit there. One of the largest tornadoes that ever recorded was hit there. I remember it's about that, that yeah. tornado. Yeah, that's why it's famous. Town about it too, so What's up, girl? Well, they was like, you know, the, the, uh, the younger generation here don't even know nothing about the history of Columbus. They don't know no history about Columbus. What you talking about, Venus? Oh, you ain't kidding me. 
I ain't gonna lie, I don't know. No, nothing. I was talking about I was talking to a oh, senior yeah. though. Oh yeah. I was talking to a cool ass chain too, man. Cool ass like motherfucker, man. If you turn off the lights, you couldn't see him, you can talk to this motherfucker was straight from the hood, man. Hey, Columbus do got some interesting ass history though. Like I man, my damn videos got deleted. My fucking channel, I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, here, go watch this video. No, it got fucking deleted. God so damn, that shit pisses me off, bro, because I did like a history on Columbus. Because they got, if you go to the bottom, Columbus started in the bottom. If you go to the raggedy ass bottoms, they got plaques and monuments everywhere. It's talking about this is where President McKinley met with the Indians, signed the treaty, and they broke the fucking tree. I got to see that. It's like right in the middle, of the, look, right in the middle of the fucking hood. Right. <laughs> I mean, the dirty, dirty, right in the middle of the dirty ass neighborhood is a big ass rock with a plaque on it. I'm talking about this is where the Indians are, uh, the Kiwi men. And there's plaques all over the bottoms like that. You know? That's an interesting ass history, man. Yes, yeah, Sullivan used to be like the main street. Going way back when. That's the dirtiest of the dirty. But so, yeah, so. How, how many how many treaties did the white man sign with the Indians? And how many treaties did the white man break? So why we why would we listen to the same government that broke all those treaties with the Indians, enslaved the whole nation of people? We we gonna go to them for the uh, look to them as a moral authority. We're gonna follow their laws and their fucking. You gotta be out your goddamn mind. Fucking goddamn America. That's why the Lord said goddamn America. The Lord gonna destroy America. Uh, uh, Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, but to the wicked. <laughs> yeah, there's no peace to the wicked. So the wicked don't want to give us no peace, give us no rest, oh, no justice, no peace. Right, ain't gonna be no justice, ain't gonna be no peace. He <laughs> sound like a dumbass saying that shit. No, no justice, no peace. <laughs> Good. America's gonna be destroyed. Y'all know that. America's out of there. America's the kingdom of Satan, and the Lord's gonna destroy America. That's right. That's what's coming. Revelation six and ten. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, "How long, O Lord? How long? And how what? And how shy, holy and true? Dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth?" Yeah. So all the all the blood of the North American Indians that was killed by the government, they gotta be avenged. All the blood of the so-called black people that was enslaved, they gotta be avenged. That can't, that can't go unpunished. Slavery is not gonna go unpunished. Hey, get uh, Revelation 13 and 13. Will you get that real quick? Oh, uh, what I say 13? I don't think Proverbs 13 and 13. Yeah. <laughs> Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And I, and, uh, I find that funny too. The uh, it say he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So, so the people that put all those black people in slavery, they have to go into slavery. That's what you call justice. That's what you call righteousness. And it, and it also say those that kill with the sword, because not only did the white man uh, enslave all, all the so-called black people who are Israelites. They also genocide the North American Indians, which is talking about kill with the sword. So who else is that talking about right there? Who who is that scripture written for right there? Hey, read that again. It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And that's crazy. I just keep uh, keep going. Now, because you just keep thinking about it, shit. It's like. The same government that killed the Indians and enslaved all these people, dropped atomic bombs on people, and did all this evil shit on the earth. We supposed to listen to them. People say that the hearts change or whatever because they let us go in slavery. But if you look at you look at the situation with uh, the Willie Lynch letter, the fuck, he said he said you got you got to put the you know, pressure on women and children first, and eventually you won't have to fucking uh, uh, beat them anymore. But they gonna be, they're gonna be slaves, you know, on their own. That's that's how that's why they so called let it go. Cause you already say nobody actually says that, 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 that the rich have uh, uh, killed the righteous, and no man prevented them. Being nobody that went up against them. Cause look, two thirds ain't doing shit. It's just living here, happy in America. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and if you are, uh, say you're so, if, if you're black in America, if you.